Hey everyone, it's Eva Mika Jono. Welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot 2. Last time we finished Air Crash completely and did all these three levels here completely. In this video, we're going to take a little tackle there, Road to Ruin. Now, uh, to get the box gem in this, you normally uh, need to get to a, get a secret passage or unlock a secret passage. Uh, but there is a way to do it without doing that. I'm going to see if I can. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but let's see if I can get there. Yes, we did it. All right. Unlock that, so. Alright, I have two masks, I'm just gonna blow them up here. Saves me trying to avoid it. Alright. We should actually be able to 100% comp uh, complete Road to Ruin right now as well, as long as I don't die. Uh, because there is a skull route uh, in this level as well, where there is a secret passage uh, uh, gem. So, yeah. Okay. Here, here, boom, boom, and boom. All right, we did it. Cool. So there, there are th uh, there are thirty, technically thirty-two boxes down there because there is a nitro detonator box at the end. And they would have just blown those four nitros off anyway. But thirty-two boxes down there that you need to get. All right, got that there, and got you, and kill you. Okay, we'll go past you. I could have just jumped over him. That's the skull route there. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the boxes though, so we don't have to backtrack. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. And I've got to get the crystal as well, so. Alright, let's just uh, get these boxes here. So we can backtrack here. And we'll head back to where the skull route was. I will show you guys how to get the, uh, this, unlock the secret passage for that part, that area back there of Road to Ruin that I, uh, glitch jumped to. Uh, I will show you guys how to get that secret passage because I, I have to anyway. If I want to, if I want to 100% complete the game, I've got to unlock that anyway, so I will show you guys how to get there. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, there is a very familiar island in the background. That, my friends, is the third island of Crash Bandicoot 1. The ruins that we left it in after we destroyed Cortex last time. It's there in, in ruins. So, yeah, that's, that's it. You can see it in the background there. Cool. Very cool details that they've added into the game once again. Oh! What? Well, that sucks. Um... Lucky for us, though, we've already unlocked the secret passage, so it'll remain unlocked for us, uh, even though we died. Uh, it's not like it's not as unforgiving as Crash Bandicoot One is. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and go back in there. I don't know how I died. I was, I was too busy like uh, concentrating on the island in the background, being like, "Oh, oh that's really cool, isn't it?" <laughs> All right, let's let's do that again. Go away! I'm not gonna try and do that. And uh, these things are so hard to stay on because you kind of like spin while you're on it, as you can see. Like, it's really weird. <laughs> Alright, and the secret passage gem is just here. Ah, oh, man. Alright. Now we're back on the main level. And there we go. We can just continue as normal. We have. Secret passage down, we got the crystal already, now we only need uh, 17, 16 more boxes now to get to the box down in this level, and that'll be the road to ruin complete. Alright, bonus round right here. Just bounce there. You can actually bounce down to the level down there, but you can't get back up. Because once you're in the bonus round, you're stuck in the bonus round until you leave it. It's like, officially leave it. But you can get down there. I have done it before, but I'm not going to show it off now. But maybe in like a bonus video that I might do, I might be like, Hey guys, you can do this in Crash 2. Check this out. Alright, and that's that. Ah, I'm sorry I had to listen to my awful singing. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, wait for these guys. And now we'll do this and that. For the last three boxes, that's 87, my dudes. Oh, wait, no, 89 boxes we need. Sorry. <laughs> no point in getting that. I've already blown up. Oh, well, okay. Uh, you sure got me, Monkey Monkey. 
Alright, all three things, boom. So yeah, it's absolute. I, I mentioned this last episode or the episode before, it is absolutely possible to complete the game completely before you get to the final boss. So, alright, last level of level 3 here, unbearable. It's a chase level, but this time you're not being chased by a boulder. You're being chased by a bear. Uh, hinted in the name, you know, unbearable. And I nearly died immediately, because I... No, oh, I died immediately anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, game. I really love being made a fool out of. What? I did it again? Seriously? Twice in a row? What the? Ah, maybe I should just stop showing off and just play like normal. No, because I know if I do that, I'm going to die anyway. Alright, let's just hit. The there we go. I did it. I knew that was coming up. Alright, see, I was far enough ahead of the bear this time that it didn't do that roly-poly thing. So I told you, it is absolutely possible to do that. So, yeah, I'm just using speed running tactics to get through this level. <laughs> Mostly because this is kind of, kind of a long level, I just want to get through it. I don't really like this level very much. I have to wait for the bear here, though, to make sure it breaks all this here. Alright, cool. You did that thing. Uh, cause we gotta go down there in a minute, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, detonate this here first, though. Cause it'll make our life much easier down here. No, uh, I've got you, we don't actually die. It's a secret passage. It's very hard to work out, I, I can't blame people for not getting that, to be honest. Like, that's, yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Like, that was, that's a kind of a ridiculous place to put it. But, you know, it's, whatever. You die. Alright. Need that. Need that. A couple of life boxes up there. Totally pointless to us. Oh, what am I doing? Ah! That was really close. Alright, so, uh can just slide down there. Normally you should wait for like a uh, uh, rats to form and they'll form a mushroom, but that's pointless. Alright, well that went pretty well, I think. Sure we lost the masks, but we lose the masks again before we uh, uh, get chased by the bear, so it's, it's pointless keeping them anyway, so it's whatever. Alright, down here is a bonus round, obviously. Ah, oh, you know, you can actually just, um, just do this. Let me, let me show you. So yeah, you don't you don't have to go down there. You can't just about r jump straight up there if you if you if you've got what it takes, kid. Uh, all right, and that's that. Very straightforward bonus round, and we're coming up to the last chase sequence. Oh, sorry, the second last chase sequence. So you lose the mask anyway. So it's. Hunt completely pointless in keeping it. You know, this level started off as a disaster for me, but I have to admit, I, I kind of like how it's going now. It's going, maybe I should say I hate levels more often. <laughs> Alright, here we go, last chase sequence. Blow those up, my friend. Yes, 58 boxes. Excellent. Let's jump here. And dodge these. And that's the end of the level. 58 boxes. Now, another secret coming up. What you're going to want to do is come in here, get your gem after you have 58 boxes, and then head back outside. And what you're going to want to do is slide some over this hole here, head back up to where the bear is sitting. Get to the front of him, the game will freeze for like half a second, and then you'll disappear. 
This will take you to a secret level, totally bare, on the 6th warp room, level 26. It's not a secret passage, it's a, actually a complete level. And Crash will throw your goodies to the other warp room. Now let's go ahead and head on in here. Alright, so this is actually a polar level, in case you couldn't tell. It's dark though, it's kind of like Lights Out, but uh, Lights Out in Crash 1 that is. But you don't need a mask, there's just a big spotlight following you, totally not creepy at all. In the cold arctic nights. Okay. Although I think this is supposed to be somewhere on one of the islands, but I don't really know where. If it's cold like this on an island, but... Clearly it's cold somewhere. If it's snowing like this. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this level is actually quite fun, I like it a lot because, you know, it's... Kind of like throwing surprises at you. It's also not too hard to navigate either. It's quite a nice level to do. Let's jump in here, get these boxes. Alright, it's going quite nicely. A few TNTs waiting here for you. You can just slide straight past them. Another life box. Because we need so many lives, clearly. <clears throat> Yeah, that must be pretty heavy, just constantly standing there all day, just lifting that and dropping it and lifting that and dro Man, that'd do your back end if you did that. <laughs> if you were to do that in real life, that'd, that'd screw your back up. Alright, no nitros in this level, so we don't need to worry about a nitro detonator. That's your 40 boxes, and that's it. And you'll throw that off there. Oop, we have a message. Crash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather. And my... <coughs> uh, our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. Cool. Alright, so Cortex isn't going to bother us again for a while now. Alright, let's go ahead and fight the third boss of the game. One of my favorite boss fights, actually. Tiny Tiger. Alright, here we go. All you got to do is just dodge him. It's very similar to Crash 3, for those of you who play that. You just got to run around and dodge him and then... These things will fall, and you got to basically just time that so he falls down with one of them. Pretty straightforward boss fight, but I like it a lot. Alright. Fall, let's just go here because those ones there are falling. Alright, one life to go. He's gonna fall straight away. <laughs> wow, that was a lot easier than I remember it being. And that's that. Goodbye, Tiny. Too easy, my friends. Alright, I think we're gonna call it quits for today. We did quite a lot again. We did three more levels and a boss fight. We're now going to be able to start the fourth warp room nice and fresh. No Cortex message for us. So next time on Crash Bandicoot 2, we're going to start the fourth warp room of the game. After this, there's only one warp room to go. See you guys then.